Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you the third version of my Instagram comment automation. So an automatic way to respond to every Instagram comment you get on your Instagram posts. And in this time, we went from this German over-engineered mess to this, which was the second version, which was way cleaner, of course, but it turns out it was too clean. And now we've arrived here, which is still pretty cool. And I'm going to show you what I've changed and what I've improved. And why should you interact with all your Instagram comments in the first place? Well, the Instagram algorithm likes it if you show engagement with your followers and it will show your posts to more people that way. And of course, replying to every comment yourself is a major pain in the butt. That's why we are totally automating this with a very smart AI that answers just like you would. So why would you have a smart AI to, to answer your comments in the first place? Well, because sometimes your comments would look, just look like this, you know, just a few emojis. And if you answer this, with a half uh, page of text, it would look kind of weird. So you all need to react appropriately to the comment that you are reading. And again, depending on the kind of business you run, sometimes you have comments like these, you know, where people actually ask you stuff about your business. And if the AI knows this about your business, it can already give a pretty good response to this. So that's why in this version, we will not just let the box standard JetGPT write our answers. No, we will create an open AI assistant that we can give additional information to, and it will write the answers and to know everything it needs to know about our business to answer these comments properly. And to create such an assistant is really easy. All you need to do is to go to platform.openai.com. And then to the left here, you see assistant and to the right, you have a button, create new assistant. And when you create a new assistant, you can give it a name. This is the one that I'm using for my AI influencer. So the name you give it is important so that you can rediscover it later easily in your make scenario. You can give it instructions, which is basically a systems prompt. So background information that you want it to know every time it is creating a, an answer. And where it says down here, file search, you can actually attach files. So you can upload your entire business plan or an FAQ list or a, a table of dates when you will be touring cities or something. Any knowledge document that you might have lying around that you want the AI assistant to draw information from and to incorporate into their responses, you can upload here. All right, and once you are happy with your OpenAI assistant, you can hop into Make and use it in your scenarios. So the first thing I fixed was something a bit embarrassing um, because the auto reply would write an auto reply to the auto reply, to my own auto reply and so on until Instagram was full. So it was something that needed fixing. All right, and this is how I did it. So the scenario triggers every time a new comment is posted on one of my Instagram posts. And I've added a router. So the top route will continue and the bottom route will not. And it is determined by a filter. And this filter will check if the username that has written the comment is not my own username, right? So in order for you to make this work, all you need to do is switch out this bit with the Instagram username of your own account and you're good to go. And down here, the opposite. If the username is the same as your own username, it will not continue. You can, of course, add other usernames in here that you want to block responding to comments to. All right. And what happens if it continues? Well, there's a sleep action to not overwhelm Instagram with comments I'm writing. And right now we are still writing the comment response with a standard chat GPT action, but we will be switching this out for the assistant call in a second. Then we will post the reply to the comment. And I made a little mistake in my previous video, the second version. You need to map the comment ID from the first action to write the comment response to. So make sure you select comment ID here. And finally, at the end, I've added a Telegram notification. You could add a notification via email or via Slack message, but I prefer Telegram. All right, so let's switch out this open API call. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna copy the prompt that I've created previously. And then I'm gonna click add new module select the OpenAI ones, and then the first one I'm seeing is Message and Assistant. And this module will have a dropdown where I can select all the assistants that I've created, and the top one is the latest one that I've just created. So I'm gonna select this one. And now where it says Message, I can put in the same prompt I had previously, but the difference is this time it will know my backstory and all the data I've uploaded into the assistant in order to write that comment. If it's just responding with two emojis, this will not matter. But if somebody asks a question about my business, uh, as we've seen before in the example, then it can draw on the knowledge it has and actually create a proper response already in the comment. So there are two ways on how you could improve this even further, where it says image URL, you could actually give it the image of the Instagram post where the comment was made. That has the advantage that the OpenAI assistant would then know what is in the image where the comment was made and can extract information from that image that might be relevant for the question that the commenter was answering if that information is not available from the documents that you've uploaded 
uh, into your assistant, for example. And the second thing you could do is create a new thread ID for every comment that comes in. And that has the advantage that if you write a response to that commenter and they respond back and you go back and forth and you have a little conversation in your comments, then the OpenAI Assistant will know what was said in this conversation previously and can write the responses accordingly. So it will not write every new answer completely from scratch. So both of these things are of course total overkill if somebody just comments a heart emoji and you respond with a fire emoji using the very latest in AI technology that man has to offer. Um, but it, <laughs> but it might be helpful if people actually ask questions about your business or your products in your comments, and you might want to give them a real good answer so that others can also read the responses. So if you need really great comment replies, you can pass along the original image. You can create threads to keep a conversation in place and the replies that will be automatically written will be way better than the ones you would create otherwise. All right. Now we've created our perfect response. We can now delete this module here. We don't no longer need this. And we need to change something here where we write the response. The response is now in result and no longer in messages choices. All right, so that's version three of my Instagram comment automation. It will help you to auto respond to every Instagram comment that you get to show engagement on your Instagram profile, make the Instagram gods happy, hopefully. And if you have any questions or ideas on how to improve this even further, please let me know. I'd be happy to do a version four of this eventually. Thanks.